Yeah, I die. Welcome back Cobra Kai fans. In today's video, we are going to be talking about why Hawk will die in Cobra Kai Season 5. Now before we start we need to explain what we mean by Hawk will die. By saying Hawk will die we are talking about Eli's alter ego and we are not referring to Eli dying in the next season. So in a recent interview with Entertainment Tonight the actor that plays Eli Moskowitz, Jacob Bertrand mentions that he dies in the show. Turn the pages when we get the scripts as well. Okay. Yeah, I die. <laughs> now this is obviously him joking about his character's death which most likely never take place in the show. But if we take a deeper look into Eli's alter ego Hawk you will notice why we may never see that side of Eli return again, and here's why. So to start this theory off we need to go through Eli's life and how he developed into his alter ego Hawk. Eli was a quite kid and was often bullied by Kyler and his friends. But after him and his friend Dimitri find out that their friend Miguel who was also bullied was able to fight and take on Kyler and his friends all by himself. This lead them to join Cobra Kai as students in order to defend themselves against the bullying. But when he joins the dojo the sensei running the dojo at the time Johnny Lawrence makes fun of his cleft lip, much like the bullying he received in school. Johnny then says to Eli that he needs to flip the script. Eli storms out of the dojo, but he wouldn't return as the same as this marked the start of his alter ego hawk. He returns the following day with a new haircut and walks in with confidence, separating himself from the shy kid that he was, and says I'm flipping the script this is changed to find Eli's alter ego hawk in the story. With his newfound alter ego and confidence Eli becomes ruthless and starts to become a bully to others including his own friend Dimitri, therefore becoming more like Kyler and his friends the same people he used to despise. He even starts dating Moon but later on his bullying leads Moon to break up with him. After the breakup Hawk behaves more erratically by following Kreese's orders to vandalize the Miyagi Do Dojo and he even steals Mr. Miyagi's Medal of Honor. His feud with his longtime friend Dimitri also continues which leads them to fight each other in the school brawl which Hawk ultimately loses after Dimitri defends himself. Although this should have made Hawk calm down a bit he becomes more ruthless in the following season. In the season him and his group decide to go and bully Nathaniel a Miyagi-Do student and takes the funds that the Miyagi-Do students had been raising to make it out like students at the Cobra Kai Dojo had done all the work. This feud between him and Miyagi-Do doesn't end, and in a school football game the two dojos decide to play rough and injure each other. The teacher notices this and both sides are sent to the counselor's office. Hawk switches from his alter ego and returns to the shy, quite Eli, and uses this to manipulate the teachers into thinking. Miyagi-Do were the ones who attacked therefore getting him and his peers out of trouble. The feud between the two dojos rages on, and they end up fighting in the arcade where Chris a Miyagi-Do student worked, while fighting Dimitri is pinned to the ground by Hawk as Hawk wants his revenge for what Dimitri did to him in the school brawl. His fellow Cobra Kai student lead him on and Hawk breaks his friend Dimitri's arm. Right after doing this we can see the guilt on his face, and we see him return to Eli as he has just realized what he has done. The following morning while training in the Cobra Kai dojo Kyler, and his friends walking the dojo, in hopes of joining Joining. While they walk in we can see that Hawk is visibly scared as he most likely remembered them bullying him. We again see him turn into himself Eli. Kreese then tells the students to then get ready to spar the newcomers in order to find who is worthy to be in Cobra Kai. This is when Kyler and Brooke make fun of Eli and his cleft lip, much like old times. This leads Eli to turn into his alter ego Hawk and brutally beat up Brooke showing him and Kyler that he is not the same kid they bullied and also letting out his pent up emotions of his past bullying. He stares at Kyler and in order to show him that the tables have turned and he is now more superior. Chris continues to manipulate Hawk, which results in him and Tori leading an ambush against the Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fong students. Visibly conflicted, remembering what Johnny and Miguel said at school, and also remembering what Chris said about enemies. After this, he sees Doug holding Dimitri's arm in a deja vu moment. Doug encourages him to break his arm a second time. Hawk runs up, but knocks down both Doug and the other Cobra Kai, switches sides during the fight and saves Dimitri. Although Eli switches sides he still carries his alter ego along with him. He struggles to find his place in the combined dojos. The Eagle Fong see him as a traitor, while the miyagi do seek to punish him for the torment he put them through. Although it seems that Hawk is about to change his ways for a brief moment, in the season. He quickly returns to his ways and starts to bully Kenny for being part of Cobra Kai. He carries on in his ways and even starts another feud between the dojos, hatching a plan to embrace the Cobra Kai students by setting up a fight location and waiting for the sprinklers to spray them. Without realizing Eli had started something that would result in the end of his alter ego, as Cobra Kai got their revenge by shaving off his mohawk reverting him back to Eli. Without realizing we witnessed the death of Hawk's alter ego in that moment, as Eli decided to finally shave of the mohawk 
Hawk for what seems like once and for all. It seems that Eli's confidence came from being Hawk and losing his signature mohawk made him lose that confidence and ego, and return to his normal self. He realizes that his time as Hawk made him ruthless and ultimately changed him as a person as he speaks to his friend Dimitri. As a result of losing the mohawk that made him confident he then tells Dimitri that he quit karate, but Dimitri tells him that he helped him get into karate. Dimitri then explains that his time in helped him gain confidence, strength and win Yasmin. He also shows his excitement for the tournament, but it won't be exciting if Eli doesn't participate. He shows him their old binary brother video and tells him that regardless of his name and mohawk, this boosts Eli's confidence, and he realizes that although having the name Hawk and the mohawk he is still Eli, and was still Eli when he flipped the script, he goes and rejoins as himself this time not trying to be somebody he's not. Although Eli has a rocky start at the All-Valley Tournament, he still recovers and beats his first opponent. This point helped him realize that he could do it without being Hawk and boosted his confidence. Kyler mocks him in order to try and get into his head, but Moon comes to encourage Hawk and tell him that he is not defined by his mohawk and that he can defeat Kyler as himself. Moon tells Eli that she liked him more for his energy and confidence, and the two kiss, rekindling their relationship. Inspired, he then easily defeats Kyler and advances. This was the boost of confidence that Eli needed as losing Moon had been weighing down on him. She made him more comfortable with being himself with the words that she spoke to him. Eli goes on in the competition he fights Miguel the All-Valley Champion and classmate. Eli is matched up with Miguel the fight is even, until Eli is knocked down by Miguel, though no point is awarded due to this being considered a block. Miguel attempts to deliver a flying kick, but ends up injuring himself, putting their fight to a pause. Eli is then put into the final by default as Miguel decides not to continue. His opponent is Robbie Keane. Robbie wins the first point by utilizing which prompts Eli to call a timeout. He goes to Daniel and tells him that Robbie has way more experience in but Daniel tells him that he has more experience in Cobra Kai. Eli follows his advice and wins the second round. Daniel also helped Eli realize that he could do it as he showed him that he believes in him, as he felt that when he first switched sides Daniel treated him as an outcast as he despised the fact that Eli was Cobra Kai and would now be joining Miyagi-Do. As a result of all these conversations Eli became more comfortable and confident in himself he also gains his inner strength and comes to the realization that he does not need his alter ego hawk. The conversations that he has at the All-Valley Tournament re-energizes him and shows him that he people still believe in him and care about him.